Paid family leave is one step closer to law in Connecticut tonight. The bill to make that reality passed the, sa the state Senate earlier tonight. But Governor Ned Lamont does not like part of that bill and has threatened to veto. News 8's Bob Wilson is live at the Capitol with the latest on this. Bob. Yeah, and we want to make it clear that the Democrats and the governor are pretty much on the same page. They both want that medical leave, and here's how it would work. They say if you are sick, if your spouse is sick, domestic partner is sick, if your parent is sick, a grandparent, a child, I mean a grandchild, then you can take off up to three months and get paid up to $900 a week, depending on how much you make. And that will be supported across the board by a half a percent payroll tax on everybody, whether you pay into it or not. Now, the Republicans' plan was voluntary. They wanted it to be set up by insurance companies and kind of be if you pay into it, you get it. And the Democrats said, nope, everybody gets it or, or no one at all. And they passed that right away, saying everybody should get that. And the only sticking point is the governor says he doesn't want the state to be in charge of it, which they can still hash out those details later, according to Senator Martin Looney. Today, Governor Lamont assured me that he looks forward to signing a very strong paid family and medical leave bill. So uh, whatever objections that he uh, has, uh, I'm sure will be worked out and uh, compromised, perhaps adapted on, a, on another bill. This is a tax on employees. So we did minimum wage to put money in the left pocket, and we did pay family to take money out of the right pocket. Uh, I just don't get it. And Governor Lamont knows it's not sustainable. That's why he's going to veto it. And Governor Lamont put out a statement tonight saying he is in full support of paid family leave. He just wants to make sure that another state agency isn't created where there's this big bulky government to try to take the money in and distribute it out. He'd like to see a quasi-private public agency that gets the money, can be handled more efficiently so that every dollar counts and it's spent well. It'll be hashed out in the next couple of weeks as this bill now moves forward to the House of Representatives. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live at the Capitol, News 8.